Hello, hello, welcome to Remade Pretty. Today I want to walk you through how I made this gorgeous sunflower wall decor. There'll be lots of details, so if you're inspired, you can definitely do it yourself. I was inspired by something I saw on the Touch of Class website last year and have been wanting to give it a try ever since. It's about 17 inches by 17 inches square and cost just six dollars to make. I wanted something for the fall season so mine's a little more bronze in color than the inspiration but I just love how it came out and how simple it was to make. So if you're ready let's go make something pretty. The first step is to create your design. I'll leave a link in the description to the picture I used. I used Microsoft Paint to size my picture. It's 15 inches by 15 inches. The key is how you print it out. You want to print it at 100% normal size. This will give you the four pages or four panels you need for this project. Make sure you leave a small margin. That'll be important. We'll talk about that in a second. For the supplies, what you'll need is the square 8x8 canvas panels from Dollar Tree. You'll need four of these. You're also going to need some sort of studs to go around the center of the flower. I use these pearl stickers from Dollar Tree. Next is the paint. It's very simple. Black, brown, and metallic copper craft paint. Some kind of cream colored paint. And the antique wax from Folk Art. You're also going to need a variety of tools. The full list is in the description. And of course, the Dollar Tree foil cookie sheets. You're going to need two packs or four sheets. Now let's prep your cookie sheets. The first thing you want to do is cut the edges off all the way around so you have a flat surface. I wanted to remove some of the texture on the bottom of the cookie sheets so I used a silicone spatula from Dollar Tree. With medium to light pressure, I began smoothing it out. It takes a couple passes, but all you're trying to do here is smooth it out a little. You're not going to get all of the texture removed. To create the sunflower cutout, align your design on the cookie sheet. You'll be doing this with the edges removed. Start embossing your design onto the cookie sheet. This embosser is from Dollar Tree. It'll make an impression on the cookie sheet. Now you want to go over the entire design, all of the lines of the petals, all the way from the edge to the rim of the center, as well as the center border lines. You won't need the grid lines. You want to do this for all four pieces of your design. Make sure you leave enough space for the margin when you cut everything out. That's going to be important in a second. Once you cut it out, you should have something that looks like this. Unpainted, of course, this was my test piece. Now you're going to create the veining or emphasize the lines on the petals. Starting on the back side, you want to create some veins on the petals that touch the center border or the ones that are in front when you look at it directly. Create a center line and then a line on either side of that center. Do this for each of the front petals, then flip it over, and you want to outline the edges of those front petals. This is what's going to give you that really nice 3D effect to the piece. Don't forget to go over the center lines of the flower, and last you want to create some seeds by pressing the point of the embosser to make it look like some seeds. Again, this is all about creating texture, so have some fun and make it your own. Now you can add your accents to the center of the sunflower. I used the pearl stickers from Dollar Tree. I didn't even need any glue. The stickers were sufficient to hold in place. For the corners, I just used the edge of the canvas itself and these little cups from Dollar Tree. The bottom seemed to have the perfect size to make the little curve. 
You want to leave a small margin for the corners when you cut them out. I promise I'll show you why that's important soon. Moving on to paint, we're going to create a mixture. I like to create my mixtures in these little cups. They have lids and it keeps the paint from drying out. For this project, the mixture consists of brown paint as well as the metallic copper. I use about a 50-50 mix and you want to make enough to cover almost everything. The flower pieces, the corner pieces, as well as your canvases. I'm only making enough here for touch-ups. There's no right or wrong, make it until you're happy with the color, then you can begin painting. Just a note here, paint each piece before they're attached to the canvas. To make the highlights, you'll need your antique wax. Grab a thin brush. You don't need a lot of wax here, so just dip your brush into the wax. Wipe it off a little bit on a paper towel, and then start highlighting. I highlighted all the veins, the creases in between each petal. Don't forget the edges. I also highlighted the studs in the center, anywhere you think needs a little bit of a shadow. This is going to make the flower really stand out. You have to do the seeds in the center as well as the corner pieces. You can go over it a few times until you're happy with the look. The last step to painting is to paint your canvases. Grab your bronze mixture and create a base coat on your canvas. Cover the entire canvas and let it dry. Then you want to grab your cream colored paint and your chip brush. If you don't have one of these brushes, I highly recommend them. They're great for dry brushing. Dip it into the cream colored paint, wipe off some of the excess on a paper towel, and then just go to town dry brushing your canvas. You can do it heavy or light. It's completely up to you until you get the desired effect. Then look at that. It looks great and it's so easy. Here's where those margins I've been hinting at come into play. You want to fold those margins over the edges of your canvas in the corners. For the flower pieces, you need to nip the corner slightly to make a crisp corner. You're going to want to do that for the flower pieces and the corner pieces. Those need to be folded over as well. This creates a really nice finished edge. Take out your bronze paint and do a couple of touch-ups if it's needed. As you can see, it stays in place without any glue. And guess what? You're pretty much done. Just put all four panels together and you have this beautiful piece of art. This project has a real high-end feel. It looks rich and it has a substantial size. No one will ever know you made it out of Dollar Tree cookie sheets. People will be asking where you got it and you can say I made it myself. I intended to use this for the fall season, but it's so nice I think I'll keep it out all year. It came out so good I'm already thinking about making more, maybe for Christmas. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe. I thank you for watching and keep making pretty things.